Morning guys, it is the 29th of January. Me, Shane, Jake, and both their significant others and Tyler, we're all gonna go out this morning. I don't know what's gonna happen today. I really hope we have a good weekend. Last weekend we didn't have any luck with any mature deer, but we'll have four different groups of hunters out this morning, um, hopefully this afternoon and tomorrow morning. So we should have a really good weekend. We'll see what happens. Yeah. It, it is, is so cold. Oh, dude, it's not <laughs> even freaking. Did y'all see how pretty that sky was? How was? Pretty the sky was. Uh, is it? Yeah. See stars. Man, we're getting this on on camera right here. I know these cameras pay off for something one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, you got to make the money somehow remembered my big boots this morning so maybe I won't freeze. Yeah. Yeah. You don't wear those crocs out there? Well, typically my cut off's dirty for crocs <laughs> and we that's the threshold. So. <laughs> I have some line one if you want to borrow those. Yeah, that might do it. That might put me under the 29 mark. But. <laughs> Is a flashlight the only thing you would put in there? Huh? Is the flashlight the only thing you would put in there? Yeah. Mm. Wasn't good. Yeah. <laughs> it's alright, that one's mine. Yeah, we, we did a good job on this ground down here. Oh dude. <laughs> I come in the other day. Yeah. It's it's pretty rough. And it's like you tell every time somebody wanted to try a different route, it just yeah, made I it know. worse. I told dad. We, we tried to go around to the left on Jake's truck, thinking it would be a little bit better, and it was much worse. Yeah. On the way in, he was like, where'd I go? I said, don't go left. You get pumped up, let it rip. See if Katie can hit it. Yeah. No, I ain't shooting to you. It's your weekend, honey. Just make sure you get it on camera. Us fighting or the deer? Both. All of the above. <laughs> Especially y'all fighting. Yes. Skip the deer. <laughs> Deer hunting is just a front to have a camera running. Yeah. We're trying to go for a reality show. Yeah, actually. exactly. Good morning, everybody. It's, uh, it's Saturday morning, the 29th. It's uh, a breezy morning. Calling for in the 20s. Wind chill in the teens. We're sitting at a place this morning that we have not set all year the wind is in my favor blowing right in my face my eyes is watered so for all my henry county folks out there maybe old swamp back mossy back mossy back as they call it i'll come out if not we'll just take old sad daddy or you know grandpa or something however y'all want to call it but uh, stay with us, and uh, we'll see how it goes.
Kill come out of here. I think it's probably that sad boy. He came from the right. Something was running on and he tried to get the camera. 
broke it off. They just blew by me and time I got them out here to my left. Couldn't really tell what was going on, then I realized I wasn't even recording. So two more come through. And then it wasn't a few seconds later, two more come through. Um, it's still cold, like 20 degrees feel like. The wind's still blowing, but I can hear it in the mic. A steady 10 to 12, gust up to 20. So I don't know if they're just moving through, going from bed to feet. On the other side of that creek, there is a green field. So maybe they've been over there eating, getting ready to go bed back down. But I was really, really hoping um, something was pushing them. So we're going to hang here for probably another 30, 40 minutes. See if maybe that was the case. Well, it's just after 9 o'clock. I'm going to call it quits for this morning. I've seen a ton of does. I don't even know how many I've seen, probably around 15 or so. There was three groups, and I thought they might have been the same group for a minute until the last time that I saw them. I was watching one group straight in front of me, and then I saw the other group out in the uh, clear cut to my left. It's really odd, though, that I've seen so many does and haven't seen any at least decent bucks. The only buck I saw this morning was a spike. Um, I think everyone's seen deer, but just nothing we wanted to shoot this morning, so hopefully this wind will die down and we'll have a good afternoon. Oh, don't worry about it, man. I don't treat my stuff like y'all do. <laughs> They put the bamboozle on me. They put the Houdini. <laughs> They're running from the camera today and everybody. He went and hooked up with like, I thought it was the same doe that came through the very first time, the first one that came out right at daylight. Yeah. But then I looked through my binoculars and it was basically dead center, that far back piece where you immediately can't see them if they go right. Yeah. So he went over there, they nuzzled heads and then they took off right together. This was an old doe, like either that or she'd been worn out. Cause she was like, right down. Yeah, yeah, she's, yeah, totally. Yeah. Dang. She slept the whole time. I'm being generous. She might have been awake a total of 20 minutes the entire time we were in the thing. I'm a good person. <laughs> you look more rested now. Good feel. Now she's here for the afternoon. Yeah. Afternoon's when I want to sleep. That's what Shane thinks that it's gonna, we're gonna move more. This time it's just game on. Who's shooting first? See, that's what TBD. I'm talking about. That's too delayed. TBD. We're gonna do paper rocks and another walk in. Is this ours too? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right there. Paper rock scissors. Hi <laughs> right, guys, we're just getting set up. Give it a shot. Well, 
it's been really windy, so I haven't been able to talk much. We just had a game warden stop up by the road, and Tyler actually texted me. Tyler saw him. Uh, he was just parked over by my truck and staring at me with his binoculars. I probably look a little different than most people with as many cameras and stuff that I have set up here. So I think he was just trying to figure out what I was doing. But once he saw me put my orange on and start to head down, he waved at me just to sit down. And it was a pretty odd experience, but I do really appreciate that because we don't have but this weekend and next weekend left. Um, and I just had three does come under me. I'm sure that he saw them. Uh, I didn't realize he was parked where he was. I'm sure they probably walked 50 yards in front of his truck. If you're the game warden watching this video, I do really appreciate you doing that. Hopefully we're about to start seeing more deer because the winds just started calming down. Matter of fact, I think there's a deer right there in front of me. Trying to make something out of nothing, you know He never wanted silver, gold, or the finer things Just a wife and kids, a home in the American dream Oh, how you gonna step in Get you a Pringle and a Reds. I've caught somewhere. We had those does come out no. yesterday. I was trying to record with that camera and it was zoomed in on one of those lanes and they, when they came running at us, I was trying to find them and I was just going everywhere. I told Shane, I was like, Al's gonna fire me. Like, this is not She a even, uh, I heard her one time whisper, sorry, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> I did too that last week. Yeah, just watch that dang thing. Hey Shane. Hey. You gonna do our intro today? No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Jake. Today's the day boys. Today is the day. It's now or never. Get that one. 100%. <laughs> All right, no excuses. Deer season 2020, 20, 22. 
21, 22. Like Damn. A champion. That's it. Good luck, boys. Good luck. Hey, everybody. We're back. It's our last hunt of the weekend. Um, Sunday morning. And couldn't ask for a better, better morning. We were dragging a little bit this morning. Just being lazy. Long weekend. Finally got out here and got in the stand. About 15, 20 minutes later than normal. We've got a lot of bodies in the woods, but... We, uh, nothing's got any lead poisoning yet, so... Maybe that'll change. Stick with us. Okay. Whenever I got in the stand, there was a doe already out there in that huge field out in front of me. Mm -hmm. And I had one walk under me, and then I didn't see anything for an hour. And that's when I should have turned the camera on and actually recorded myself talking, but I didn't. And so I was like, well, I'll wait till I see a few more deer and then I'll do that. To be honest with you, all this is very blurry because so much has happened in, in like there. That's prob that is probably the most eventful hunt I've ever had in my entire life. Really? Yes. I don't know how much I got on the camera. I had uh, eight point. He was going up towards two does. He ran them off. I had another buck come from my right. He walked right out in front of me. And meanwhile, I've been watching like five does off to my left. He starts angling up towards them. And then I just see tails start going up. And I'm assuming that he's chasing them. But then I see those, there's two coyotes chasing them. 
I tried to turn the camera that direction and zoom it out. I have no clue what will be on there. Um, the shot or not. Yeah. So, yeah. and there, those two coyotes were chasing. I think it was the buck they were chasing. And I couldn't get them. I couldn't get them stop. And they they were straight in line for me to you. So I just sat there with the safety off, waiting, hoping they would dart off. And one of them went out to the right. So I shot, hit him. Then they all busted up. So when you shot, obviously the deer that he was chasing, which I thought was a six, it may have been the eight. Did he come towards me, the deer, the deer, or the buck came to you? Well, there you was on? two bucks. Okay. Because they both had made their way up into that corner. So a six, he comes barreling down and runs, I mean, under my stand. And the, the does stopped short back up there behind me because yeah. they kept watching. But he didn't slow up. And I freaking hollered and yelped and carried on. He didn't. Mm -mm. He had one thing. He got down in that creek to my right, yeah. and then he stops. Like, I guess when he got in cover and felt like he was out of danger. And so he stayed there and stayed there. And I got real quiet. He come back out and crossed back across. But Dude, when right before when I shot, I had those five does to my left. That eight point was crossing that field, going to two more does way up there. I had the six point coming on my right. I didn't know oh, what to do with the at. camera. They were everywhere. Let's well, say I was gonna try to stand up and turn around and help you look for that coyote. But I knew that buck was still in that creek bottom down there yeah. where they bed. Yeah. And sure enough, when he got down there rambling up, I guess he got a couple more up. There was like three little old does come up and crossed. And uh, I got a little four point come up, fed a little bit, but they didn't move until he barreled down off in there. All it takes is for me to send you a text and tell you I'm getting down. I get my bag packed up, I shoot you a text, I'm about to get down. And I'm standing there, I'm looking around and I'm waiting because I know something's about to go down. And right when I'm about to grab my gun, I heard something behind me and I turned and there's a doe 10 or 15 feet in front of me. But she was standing there and she had just ran from something. So I went ahead and grabbed my rifle and turned around. Right. Because I hadn't seen her before. I don't know where she came from. Oh, I, I did take a cell phone video of him. As I'm standing there, um, a short tined eight point, like a two year, two and a half year old, came out right beside me the only running that i can tell you that i've seen is that freaking spike four point he come almost up to your truck and one of those initial three does had been in this quick cut or cut over all day Today, he came straight to the stand he, he comes straight to the stand yeah yep because yep. i was sitting the there only and i heard one a I've limb seen crack push. i forgot him. about him That's i heard him. a limb crack and he came right under me yep well your song didn't work no did not just nothing to you liking or nothing nothing in general nothing in general really real small doe first thing then that spike that's it it's calm and as pretty as it was this morning that's what i was thinking but it was i guess that frost on the ground only reason i seen anything is alan shot and spooked them up and run them my way oh yeah thanks sure yeah. did they all headed your way <laughs> I told Jake he sung the wrong song. He should have sung the, the, the original. And he sung the remix. Uh, yeah. Didn't say more deer with the original. Like racing. As soon as I heard his footsteps, it just kept getting faster and faster and faster and faster. And then when I saw him, I'm like, 